All right, we're back. We are on page one, note 17 of Calc C. This is the last set of notes for Calc BC. Um, and then we'll start other stuff. But like, it's been quite the journey, so let's see if we can end it, uh, end it well. So uh, weirdly, the beginning of the end uh, has you going back and reviewing note 16 from Math Analysis. So if you have not done that yet, uh, I'm assuming that you have, and I'm gonna be kind of like going through this First couple pages are just review, basically. Uh, not a lot of calculus, maybe no calculus, really. Just gonna kind of like fly through it, make sure everybody's still on, on board with this. Um, if you've never seen Polar before, note 16 for math analysis is where you should definitely start. And there's like videos for all that, and the notes are on the website, and like, go get them, make sure you understand everything in there, then come back to this. And these will be a relative breeze, I think, if you've done that. All right, let's do it. So Polar points are weird. Uh, because there are and then theta. The weirdest part of that is that they go dependent and then independent. Like every other thing I can think of, the independent, like the independent variable is more important to know going into the problem than the dependent variable. Because how would you know the dependent if you don't know the independent? But like whatever, that's how we do it. R theta. They are in sort of alphabetical order, which I think is probably the reason that that happens. I don't really know. I mean, it doesn't make sense, but whatever. So then if we we're going to plot these. Um, this is going to be r, this is going to be theta. So we're going to rotate pi over 3, then we're going to move out two units in that direction. So rotate pi over 3 means, you know, go like this. Then we're going to move out two units. Let's see, what should we count by? Uh, all right, I'm going to count by halves, I think. So like, uh, this would be, blah, this will be 1, and then this will be 2. So if I rotate pi over 3, and then I go out two, I'm gonna end up there. So this is gonna be the point A, I think. I hope I'm labeling them. I mean, that's two comma, two comma pi over three. So we rotate and then we move. So if we rotate pi over three and then we move negative two, we rotate pi over three, so we're facing this way, but then we're gonna move negative two. So negative two, instead of going forward two, we're gonna go back two, so we're gonna end up here, right at that point. So I'm gonna put a point there and try to make sure I get that. This, this is gonna be negative two pi over three. We rotated pi over three, then we moved negative two. So we moved kind of in the wrong direction. If we rotate four pi over three, so four pi over three, you're standing facing here, you rotate four pi over three, but then instead of walking this way, which is the way you're facing, you go backwards two and we end up here. So it's actually the same point. Polar points are not unique. You can write an infinite number of ways. Um, and that is kind of an issue that we'll run into. It has a few calculus uh, implications, I guess. Um, and we'll see them as we go. So that's plotting basic points. Uh, we're gonna graph soon, but I just wanted to make sure you remembered the polar grid. Remember though, this grid is just laid on top of the x, y plane. There's still x's, there's still y's. Um, so you're going to talk about like the slope of a polar curve is in terms of X and Y. It's not, it has nothing to do with R and theta. It has everything to do with R and theta, but like, uh, the actual equation won't have R's and thetas in it. So new, a new perspective or a reviewed perspective, I guess. These are your big formulas for converting. X is R cosine. Y is R sine. Um, tan of theta is Y over X, which you use when you're dealing with like angles and you want to convert them. So like, if you want to convert theta equals pi over six in polar into rectangular, then tangent of pi over six is root three over three, y over x is root three over three, y equals root three over three x. That's how we use that. And then x squared plus y squared equals r squared is almost like the whole basis of polar. Uh, so let's see if we can convert. So converting a point, well, we're gonna have x is r cosine, so three times cosine of pi pi over three. Gotta know your unit circle. And then y is r sine, so three times sine of pi pi over three. So this will be uh, the cosine of five pi over three is one half, so three halves. And then the sine of five pi over three is negative root three over two. So we get that. So I would write my final answer as an ordered pair, three halves, negative three root three over two. Uh, if we look, if you go back up here, so five pi over three, you rotate, you start facing here, you rotate five pi over three and then you go forward three, which I guess takes you to here. 
and you can kind of see, so if I plotted that, you can kind of see, I think, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I wanna go like straight up. You can see that's definitely three halves. And then the other point is like harder to do because it's radicals, but if you went straight across, you know, horizontally, um, that must be at uh, negative three root three over two. Has to be because we just converted it. So that's how we can convert a point. Uh, this point's gonna be really gross. Oh no, this is not gross at all. I was thinking it would be gross, but it's not gonna be gross, right? So this is in X, Y, because we're converting it to polar. So we need to figure out R. R is the square root of X squared plus Y squared. So uh, five root two. And then I prefer to just think about it, like, where's this point gonna be? So negative five, five is kind of here. So it splits this quadrant so we just know that theta is three pi over four. Remember, I'm assuming that you watched all the videos or reviewed all of your notes for note 16 of analysis. So I'm assuming that you also look at these things and think like, oh, I know a lot of background information. That's my hope. So this in polar, we got to tell it R is five root two. And then uh, we got to say that theta is three pi over four. And that's the whole thing. So uh, that's a couple of conversions. I'm gonna come back in the next video um, and do the next page. So make sure you know these formulas because if you don't know a formula, you can't use a formula. So uh, make sure you know those. I'll see you in the next one.